So I'm going to take some music that is, this is the wrong book, here's the right book, that, um, Ach, es bleibt in meiner Liebe laute Unvollkommenheit. It's Cantata 77. Can you look at that, please, for me? Now, as opposed to Mr. Let's see if I can get up to your intonation. Have you got the music? Yeah. You brought it with you, right? Yeah. Okay. Once again, here's the music here. It's written, it's an aria from the cantata 77. Du sollst God deine Herren lieben. And it was first performed in 1723, written for Gottfried Reiche, for his trumpet. The first part you play on the natural trumpet with the tirarsi su, which is this is here. You can move the whole slide, you move the whole bell. Actually, the whole thing goes back and forth like this to play intonation in the lower register. But that's in the octave lower. I'll have to get to that to another, on another day because I'm running out of time now for the recording. So what I want to do is just do a little bit of this and then play a few, a very nice piece with a second trumpet on the modern trumpet and talk a little bit of that intonation on the piccolo trumpet. So um, can you give me a, a D minor chord? Obviously, to play that on the trumpet de catcher with hand reflection in this expressive and very um, controlled way must have been a huge accomplishment for a man named Gottfried Reiche. He was a master of this instrument and he played it until his death in 1734. So he played that instrument, this instrument, and, and the terrasi and the sink and whatever in Leipzig starting, uh, I think was born in 1767, 1667 and went to Leipzig when he was 20. He came from Weissenfels and Weissenfels was a Hof, uh, a hof for Adel, for uh, aristocracy. And this is also where Heinrich Schutz came from, who also studied in Italy, as you know, and also was a uh, composer for the Dresdner court. Heinrich Schutz. And uh, so Gottfried Reich's family, and even the family of Bach, they were some very accomplished Hof trumpeters. Bach, his own family. I think his brother-in-law, no, his father-in-law, was a Hof trumpeter in Weissenfels. To make a long story short, Gottfried Reich must have had a lot of experience with this, with the trumpets, even before he went to Leipzig, when he was 20, in 16... 87, to become a lehrling, to learn how to play um, with people like uh, Petzilius or Petzl, to, to, to learn how to play the trumpet to catch you and whatever. So I think after you play this instrument for 30 years, you should be able to play it very well. Old men plant trees not because they expect to reap a harvest of fruit from those trees themselves but to make an offering to the next generation. This is the tradition. This is the original Bach trumpet, not a piccolo trumpet. This is the real McCoy. It has no holes. It has no 
slides. It has no keys. This is the instrument that Gottfried Reicher played. And he was Johann Sebastian Bach's solo trumpet. And you just heard what he could have done much better than I. But if I, after only two or three years of trying to make this thing work, have brought it to that level, how much could you, if you started when you were like me, nine years old, bring this instrument to a high level of artistic achievement? It's a gift for you. I have three instruments that I'd like to donate to three instrumentalists who would like to learn this. It's my message to you, it's an offering. You can see at the end of this video, my telephone number, my address, my YouTube um, uh, address, my, my uh, email address, write to me. If you're interested and if you're serious about learning this. Once again, just to explain, Christmas Oratorio. And by the way, Gottfried Reicher, the Christmas Oratorio was written for Gottfried Reicher, but he died two months before it was brought out. He died in October 1734, and the Weinox Oratorium was first played in December. But there were portions of that that Bach smuggled into some other more secular music so that I think Riker probably did try some of that in, in maybe the spring or the summer before. But um, there's so much wonderful music and I, I really hope that you can uh, think about it. By the way, this instrument in its original length for the people that are really ambitious and really want to go beyond all that, the original and what's playable on this instrument it goes back to its original length what I wanted to build it from, and that is in high Baroque F, which, which the Brandenburg Concerto was written for. So if you're interested in playing the Brandenburg Concerto, this is the real McCoy for that. And it plays very well in tune in, in high F. Brandenburg Concerto. The, the, the first note that I play, the low note, is actually a pedal note. So it's in tune even into this pedal register. It's up to you. That's the instrument, maybe a smaller cup, maybe another lead pipe, whatever, but it's here for you, so give me a call. <laughs>